Ubuntu 1904 Disco Dingo is here, serving as the latest version of the Ubuntu operating system. But what's changed, I hear you ask? Well, spoiler alert, not much. This update is more of a modest evolution than a dramatic revolution. In fact, you can't even see the biggest change in Ubuntu 1904, but you can most certainly feel it. Ubuntu is faster, much faster than before. Various optimizations made to GNOME Shell, Mutter and Animations combine Transformers style to create a significantly more responsive desktop experience. You'll notice this most when opening the app grid, accessing top bar menus, or switching between apps and workspaces. Ubuntu has always looked good, but in 1904 the distro looks positively A-grade. The Yaru GTK and Gnome Shell theme have been improved, and application icons now use a more liberal mix of icon shape, and there's a natty new wallpaper to boot. Nautilus no longer handles desktop drawing, so a new GNOME extension is included. This is used to display and manage files, shortcuts and folders you place on the desktop. Major downside, some functionality, like drag and drop, is currently missing. Talking of Nautilus, the file manager now supports file favoriting. While file searching is faster thanks to the inclusion of Tracker, a file indexing tool. Alt tab switches between open windows by default in this version of Ubuntu. To switch between applications, use super tab instead. You can now control the intensity of the built-in blue light filter. The settings app surfaces an advanced array of permissions for your installed software, including both Flatpak and Snap applications, and the sound settings panel has been overhauled. As you'd expect, the latest versions of Mozilla Firefox, Thunderbird and LibreOffice ship as standard, with a veritable trove of additional Linux software available to install using the Store app including thousands of Snap apps. With the Linux kernel 5.0 and the Mesa 19 graphics drivers on board, this version of Ubuntu is probably the most compatible yet. It even offers to install proprietary NVIDIA drivers where available, or the OpenVM tools package in VMware virtual machines. In summary, Ubuntu 19.04 is the best version of Ubuntu in years. It's faster and more responsive, with thoughtful touches and tweaks woven throughout the user experience. Not only is Ubuntu a viable replacement for Windows or Mac OS, it's also the perfect introduction to Linux.